give a quick rundown on the van. Uh, I did the uh, brake master cylinder. I might put a little snippet of that video. Uh, actually didn't show the process of uh, putting on the brake master cylinder, but this is the old one. Gotta make sure this thing isn't leak out. Uh, anyway, uh, I replaced it, replaced the fluid. The only difficult part about doing a master cylinder, uh, first one I've done, but I, even I knew this, was it bleeding the uh, air out of the brake system? Did not take that long. I didn't use the old technique where I broke the uh, the uh, the cables at each at each uh, at each wheel, etc. And did it that way. I did the old. I did the way uh, I learned on Scotty Kilmer, uh, ScottyKilmer.com, and he's owned, of course, YouTube, two or three million uh, subscribers. Uh, inside here, uh, you can see it's still a lot of garbage around here because I've been. I've been living out of the van and not in the van, but if you see, I don't know if you can even see that in this light, but the Zero Breeze AC is here. I haven't unpacked it yet. I haven't had room to. My uh, my ice uh, AC here is going to be going into storage. You know, I just don't, I've got a couple of nice little fans on here, so I'm, I'm not going to take it out of uh, circulation completely. I got some crow foot, uh, some crow foot tools for my socket wrench over here. I haven't even taken them out of the bag yet because the DIY stuff hit a big, 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 big pothole. And let me give you a quick rundown on that. Uh, I was going to work and I ran out of gas. And he says, why do you run out of gas? You've got, you've got uh, a gas gauge. No, I don't. I didn't at the time. I do now. And that's part of the story as well. So, you know, it's not a big deal. I, I carry a little extra gas in the back because I know my gas gauge doesn't work. And sometimes I get a little absent-minded. So, I put some gas in there. It still wouldn't start. So, I I, did, I had it towed. Guys, I've, I've AAA. Um, I've got issues with it. Huge issues. I This is a, a large van, extended van. I don't know, 18 feet, maybe by six feet across. Uh, so the, they sent a wrecker out there. Not an ordinary wrecker. It was it was a small flatbed wrecker, but uh, they made a decision not to haul my van. So I said, okay, please send me a larger wrecker. I've got the RV coverage. Yeah, don't get the RV coverage unless you have something you you've registered as an RV. They won't send it. I'm, I'm just I'm just amazingly disillusioned with that. I'm not going to use them anymore. I'm just going to call a wrecker. I spent 150 bucks. I got a wrecker nearby. I saw I saw them passing, and I said, okay, got to be a wrecker company somewhere by. And they bought one big enough to carry it. And there was even then there was a lot of issues with getting it off the wrecker. It, it was just it, uh, my life has been unusual the last month. Uh, in any case. Um, I spent, uh, in addition to the DIY, which was, uh, I've already mentioned, the brake master cylinder, I also spent a good deal of money on this van to a mechanic. I had no choice because I had it towed in. I had them address it and look at it, and they found a short, a short in the electrical system. In fact, there was smoke at some one point rising up by the battery, so starter solenoid, starter, it was something was blazing up, probably starter solenoid. So, I went in there, they fixed that, they found a short, they replaced that. They also mentioned, and I knew this by the way it was, the, it was handling and braking, well, braking mostly, that I needed to get new uh, calipers and new uh, rotors on my, uh, on my front. They didn't address the, uh, the back and the drum brakes. I probably have to go to somebody who specializes in that. Not many people touch them nowadays, but that removed a lot of noise and it removed a lot of my problems. So the thousand plus I spent on it, not a much above a thousand, um, was not uh, was not wasted. And amazingly, you see on these uh, old E150s, there are two tanks. There are several other Ford 
there are, there are a number of other Ford models that have two tanks as well. But I could only use the front tank, and the front tank only accessed the rear tank. When they fix that short and cleared up the electrical system, I now have both tanks back. So there is never any danger unless I'm just get a an amazing case of the stupid of running out of gas again because I'm always going to have one of these tanks full. Currently, both of these tanks are close to full. Of course, I've been driving on the front tank for a while. That was a amazing plus out of this issue. That made that thousand dollars a lot less painful because now I have both tanks. That's about 80 and 90 bucks worth of gas I could put in those two tanks. And uh, as much as I enjoy stopping by gas stations, that's a lot of sarcasm. Uh, the more time I can put in between it, the better. As is the reason you saw me, uh, I've mentioned that I uh, ran out of gas. And during that process is when they uncovered the short. I don't know how it was related to the running out of gas. I don't think it was, but I couldn't get it restarted. That was the issue. And boom, they took care of it. Uh, I still have not put on my my uh, 3G alternator. Uh, I thought I was going to be replacing that alternator to fix my issues. Because I sure it's an alternate issue. It was not an alternate issue. It was a short. I don't know. I've never seen a short act that way. I, you know, I'm not a mechanic, so I'm probably an experienced mechanic has seen it happen before. Boom. That took care of that. It was just... it. it this was the best mistake I ever made was running out of gas. It alleviated my uh, worries about the alternator. I still got the 3G. I will be replacing that sometime. Uh, not immediately. I'm just happy with what I got right now. Uh, it led to my tank situation being handled where now both of my front and my rear tanks work great. So that was taken care of. I, I'm just extraordinarily happy the thousand dollars was not something I wanted to spend but if you consider they fixed my tanks that probably would have been four or five hundred dollars by itself and they addressed uh, I don't know a host of other issues that I didn't know I had and it just it's just I'm, I'm happy as I can be uh, and, of course, I did uh, put in, and like I said, I'll probably put a snippet in there. I hate to waste the video. Uh, uh, maybe not. If, if, if you reach this point and you haven't seen the old uh, master cylinder, I didn't include it in the video. All right, that's all I've got. I just want to say that uh, I had an expensive, uh, you know, $1,000 spent on this old van. But I am real happy with it. I've, got, I've still got to get some... Uh, ball joints and tie rods on this thing. Uh, I'm not riding this on the highway. I'm just doing uh, city streets back and forth to work and to wherever I'm going to be sleeping now that the van is back up to par. And I will be doing a video on the Zero Breeze uh, once I get it out of the box and installed and set up which should be in the near future. Alright, talk to you later.